The Austronesian languages are a language family that is widely dispersed throughout maritime Southeast Asia, Madagascar and the islands of the Pacific Ocean, with a few members in continental Asia. Austronesian languages are spoken by about 386 million people, 4.9%, making it the fifth largest language family by number of speakers, behind the Indo-European languages 46.3%, the Sino-Tibetan languages 20.4%, the Niger-Congo languages 6.9%, and the Afro-Asiatic languages. Major Austronesian languages with the highest number of speakers are Malay, Indonesian and Malaysian, Javanese, and Filipino, Tagalog. The family contains 1,257 languages, which is the second most of any language family. Similarities between the languages spoken in the Malay archipelago and the Pacific Ocean were first observed in 1706 by the Dutch scholar Adrian Reland. In the 19th century, researchers, e.g., Wilhelm von Humboldt, Hermann van der Toek, started to apply the comparative method to the Austronesian languages, but the first comprehensive and extensive study on the phonological history of the Austronesian language family including a reconstruction of Proto-Austronesian lexicon was made by the German linguist Otto Dempwolf. The term Austronesian itself was coined by Wilhelm Schmidt German Austronesisch, based on Latin Oster, South Wind, and Greek Nessos, Island. The family is aptly named, as the vast majority of Austronesian languages are spoken on islands, only a few languages, such as Malay and the Chamic languages, are indigenous to mainland Asia. Many Austronesian languages have very few speakers, but the major Austronesian languages are spoken by tens of millions of people and one Austronesian language, Malay including both Indonesian and Malaysian variants, is spoken by 250 million people, making it the eighth most spoken language in the world. Approximately 20 Austronesian languages are official in their respective countries see the list of major and official Austronesian languages. Different sources count languages differently, but Austronesian and Niger-Congo are the two largest language families in the world by the number of languages they contain, each having roughly one-fifth of the total languages counted in the world. The geographical span of Austronesian was the largest of any language family before the spread of Indo-European in the colonial period, ranging from Madagascar off the southeastern coast of Africa to Easter Island in the eastern Pacific. Hawaiian, Rapa Nui, and Malagasy spoken on Madagascar are the geographic outliers of the Austronesian family. According to Robert Blust 1999, Austronesian is divided in several primary branches, all but one of which are found exclusively on Taiwan. The Formosan languages of Taiwan are grouped into as many as nine first-order subgroups of Austronesian. All Austronesian languages spoken outside Taiwan including its offshore Yami language belong to the Malayo-Polynesian branch, sometimes called Extra Formosan. Most Austronesian languages lack a long history of written attestation, making the feat of reconstructing earlier stages, up to distant Proto-Austronesian, all the more remarkable. The oldest inscription in the Cham language, the Dong Yen Chao inscription, but with the influence of Indo-European languages, dated to the mid-6th century AD at the latest, is also the first attestation of any Austronesian language. Topic. Structure It is difficult to make generalizations about the languages that make up a family as diverse as Austronesian. Very broadly, one can divide the Austronesian languages into three groups, Philippine-type languages, Indonesian-type languages and post-Indonesian-type languages Ross 2002. The first group includes, besides the languages of the Philippines, the Austronesian languages of Taiwan, Sabah, North Sulawesi and Madagascar. It is primarily characterized by the retention of the original system of Philippine-type voice alternations, where typically three or four verb voices determine which semantic role the subject topic expresses it may express either the actor the patient the location and the beneficiary or various other circumstantial roles such as instrument and concomitant the phenomenon has frequently been referred to as focus not to be confused with the usual sense of that term in linguistics furthermore the choice of voice is influenced by the definiteness of the participants the word order has a strong tendency to be verb initial in contrast, the more innovative Indonesian-type languages, which are particularly represented in Malaysia and Western Indonesia, have reduced the voice system to a contrast between only two voices actor voice and undergoer 
voice, but these are supplemented by applicative morphological devices originally two, the more direct asterisk i and more oblique asterisk and a cane, which serve to modify the semantic role of the undergoer. They are also characterized by the presence of preposed clitic pronouns. Unlike the Philippine type, these languages mostly tend towards verb second word orders. A number of languages, such as the Batak languages, Old Javanese, Balinese, Sasak and several Sulawesi languages seem to represent an intermediate stage between these two types. Finally, in some languages, which Ross calls, post-Indonesian, the original voice system has broken down completely and the voice marking affixes no longer preserve their functions. The Austronesian languages tend to use reduplication, repetition of all or part of a word, as in wiki wiki or agar agar. Like many East and Southeast Asian languages, most Austronesian languages have highly restrictive phonotactics, with generally small numbers of phonemes and predominantly consonant vowel syllables. Lexicon <inaudible> 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 The Austronesian language family has been established by the linguistic comparative method on the basis of cognate sets, sets of words similar in sound and meaning which can be shown to be descended from the same ancestral word in Proto-Austronesian according to regular rules. Some cognate sets are very stable. The word for I in many Austronesian languages is Mata from the most northerly Austronesian languages, Formosan languages such as Bunan and Amos all the way south to Maori. Other words are harder to reconstruct. The word for two is also stable, in that it appears over the entire range of the Austronesian family, but the forms e Dusa, Amos Tusa, Maori Rua require some linguistic expertise to recognize. The Austronesian Basic Vocabulary Database gives word lists coded for, cognateness for approximately 1,000 Austronesian languages. Classification <laughs> 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 The internal structure of the Austronesian languages is complex. The family consists of many similar and closely related languages with large numbers of dialect continua, making it difficult to recognize boundaries between branches. However, it is clear that the greatest genealogical diversity is found among the Formosan languages of Taiwan, and the least diversity among the islands of the Pacific, supporting a dispersal of the family from Taiwan or China. The first comprehensive classification to reflect this was Dian The seminal article in the classification of Formosan, and, by extension, the top-level structure of Austronesian, is Blust Prominent Formosanists linguists who specialize in Formosan languages take issue with some of its details, but it remains the point of reference for current linguistic analyses, and is shown below. The Malayo-Polynesian languages are frequently included within Blust's Eastern Formosan branch due to their shared leveling of Proto-Austronesian asterisk t, asterisk c to t, and asterisk n, asterisk n to n, their shift of asterisk s to h, and vocabulary such as asterisk lima 5 which are not attested in other Formosan languages. There appear to have been two great migrations of Austronesian languages that quickly covered large areas, resulting in multiple local groups with little large-scale structure. The first was Malayo-Polynesian, distributed across the Philippines, Indonesia, and Melanesia. The central Malayo-Polynesian languages are similar to each other not because of close genealogical relationships, but rather because they reflect strong substratum effects from non-Austronesian languages. The second migration was that of the Oceanic languages into Polynesia and Micronesia Green Hill, Blust and Gray 2008. In addition to Malayo-Polynesian, 13 Formosan families are broadly accepted. Debate centers primarily around the relationships between these families. Of the classifications presented here, Blust 1999 links two families into a Western Plains group, two more in a Northwestern Formosan group, and three into an Eastern Formosan group, while Lee 2008 also links five families into a Northern Formosan group. The Austronesian Basic Vocabulary Database 2008 accepts Northern, rejects Eastern, links Suic and Rukai two highly divergent languages, and links Malayo-Polynesian with Paiwan in a Paiwanic group. Ross 2009 splits Suic, and notes that Sao, Rukai, and Puyuma fall outside of reconstructions of Proto-Austronesian. Other studies have presented phonological evidence for a reduced Paiwanic family of Paiwanic, Puyuma, Bunan, Amos, and Malayo-Polynesian, but this is not reflected in vocabulary. 
The eastern Formosan peoples Bisay, Cavalan, and Amos share a homeland motif that has them coming originally from an island called Sinisay or Sanisay The Amis, in particular, maintain that they came from the east, and were treated by the Puyuma, amongst whom they settled, as a subservient group. Topic Blust 1999, Austronesian, clockwise from the southwest Sao language. Sarawa language. Kanakanabu language. Thao language, a.k.a. Sao. Braba and Shtafari dialects. Central Western Plains Babuza language, Taukas, Povosa dialects, Old Favorling language. Papora Hoanya language, Papora, Hoanya dialects. Seishat language, Thai and Tungho dialects. Paza language a.k.a. Kulan. Atayal language. Cedic language, a.k.a. Truku, Taroko. Northern, Kavalanic languages. Basay language, Trobiawa and Lana Kakot dialects. Kavalan language. Ketagalan language, or Ketangalan. Central Ami. Amos proper. Sakazaya. Saraya language. Mantoran, Tona, and Maga dialects of Rukai are divergent. Topic Li 2008, This classification retains Blust's East Formosan, and unites the other northern languages. Li proposes a Proto-Formosan ancestor and equates it with Proto-Austronesian Pan, following the model in Starosta Rukai and Suik are seen as highly divergent, although the position of Rukai is highly controversial. F0, Formosan equals Austronesian Mantoran Magatona, Budai Labuan Taromak F1 Sao Southern Suik Sarawa Kanakanabu F2 Northwestern Plains Seishat Kulin Paza Western Thou West Coast Papora Hoanya Babuza Taukas Atalic Skalik Atale Sole Atale equals Koli Cedic Kavalan Bisay Saraya Amos Southern Uncertain Isbukan Northern and Central Takitudu and Takbanuas. Topic. Ross, 2009. In 2009, Malcolm Ross proposed a new classification of the Austronesian language family based on morphological evidence from various Formosan languages. He proposed that the current reconstructions for Proto-Austronesian actually correspond to an intermediate stage, which he terms. Proto-nuclear Austronesian. Notably, Ross classification does not support the unity of the Suic languages, instead considering the southern Suic languages of Kanakanavu and Saroa to be a separate branch. This supports Chang's 2006 claim that Suic is not a valid group. Austronesian Mantoran and Tonamaga dialects are divergent. Subdivisions not addressed, apart from Saroa Kanakanabu being separate from Sao. Major languages Topic. Comparison chart Below is a chart comparing list of numbers of 1 to 10 and 13 words in Austronesian languages, spoken in Taiwan, the Philippines, the Mariana Islands, Indonesia, Malaysia, Chams or Champa in Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam, East Timor, Papua, New Zealand, Hawaii, Madagascar, Borneo and Tuvalu. Topic. Comparison chart numerals Topic. History The proto-history of the Austronesian people can be traced farther back through time than can that of the proto-Austronesian language. From the standpoint of historical linguistics, the home in linguistic terminology, or heimat of the Austronesian languages is the main island of Taiwan, also known as Formosa. On this island the deepest divisions in Austronesian are found, among the families of the native Formosan languages. According to Robert Blust, the Formosan languages form nine of the ten primary branches of the Austronesian language family Blust 1999. Comrie 2001 noted this when he wrote, the internal diversity among the Formosan languages is greater than that in all the rest of Austronesian put together, so there is a major genetic split within Austronesian between Formosan and the rest. 
Indeed, the genetic diversity within Formosan is so great that it may well consist of several primary branches of the overall Austronesian family. At least since Sapper 1968, linguists have generally accepted that the chronology of the dispersal of languages within a given language family can be traced from the area of greatest linguistic variety to that of the least. For example, English in North America has large numbers of speakers, but relatively low dialectal diversity, while English in Great Britain has much higher diversity. Such low linguistic variety by Sapper's thesis suggests a more recent origin of English in North America. While some scholars suspect that the number of principal branches among the Formosan languages may be somewhat less than Blust's estimate of nine e.g. Lee 2006, there is little contention among linguists with this analysis and the resulting view of the origin and direction of the migration. For a recent descending analysis, see Peros 2004. To get an idea of the original homeland of the Austronesian people, scholars can probe evidence from archaeology and genetics. Studies from the science of genetics have produced conflicting outcomes. Some researchers find evidence for a proto-Austronesian homeland on the Asian mainland e.g., Melton et al., 1998, while others mirror the linguistic research, rejecting an East Asian origin in favor of Taiwan e.g., Trejo et al., 2005. Archaeological evidence e Bellwood 1997, is more consistent, suggesting that the ancestors of the Austronesians spread from the South Chinese mainland to Taiwan at some time around 8,000 years ago. Evidence from historical linguistics suggests that it is from this island that seafaring peoples migrated, perhaps in distinct waves separated by millennia, to the entire region encompassed by the Austronesian languages Diamond 2000. It is believed that this migration began around 6,000 years ago blessed 1999. However, evidence from historical linguistics cannot bridge the gap between those two periods. The view that linguistic evidence connects Austronesian languages to the Sino-Tibetan ones, as proposed for example by Sigart 2002, is a minority one. As Fox 2004 states, implied in Discussions of subgrouping of Austronesian languages is a broad consensus that the homeland of the Austronesians was in Taiwan. This homeland area may have also included the Penghu Pescadoras islands between Taiwan and China and possibly even sites on the coast of mainland China, especially if one were to view the early Austronesians as a population of related dialect communities living in scattered coastal settlements. Linguistic analysis of the Proto Austronesian language stops at the western shores of Taiwan. Any related mainland languages have not survived. The only exceptions, the Chamic languages, derive from more recent migration to the mainland Thurgood 1999-225. Hypothesized relations Genealogical links have been proposed between Austronesian and various families of East and Southeast Asia. A link with the Austroasiatic languages in an Austric phylum is based mostly on typological evidence. However, there is also morphological evidence of a connection between the conservative Nicobarese languages and Austronesian languages of the Philippines. Paul K. Benedict extended the Austric proposal to include the Thai Kaday and Hmong Mien families, but this has not been followed by other linguists. austro -Thai. A competing Austro-Thai proposal linking Austronesian and Thai Kaday is supported by Weera Osteparat, Roger Blench, and Laurent Sagart, and is based on the traditional comparative method. Osteparat proposes a series of regular correspondences linking the two families and assumes a primary split, with Thai Kaday speakers being the Austronesians who stayed behind in their Chinese homeland. Blench 2004 suggests that, if the connection is valid, the relationship is unlikely to be one of two sister families. Rather, he suggests that proto thai Kaday speakers were Austronesians who migrated to Hainan Island and back to the mainland from the northern Philippines, and that their distinctiveness results from radical restructuring following contact with Hmong Mien and Sinitic. Sino-Austronesian French linguist and Sinologist Laurent Sagart considers the Austronesian languages to be related to the Sino-Tibetan languages, and also groups the Thai-Kaday languages as more closely related to the Malayo-Polynesian languages. 
He also groups the Austronesian languages in a recursive-like fashion, placing Thai Kadai as a sister branch of Malayo-Polynesian. His methodology has been found to be spurious by his peers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Japanese Several linguists have proposed that Japanese may be a relative of the Austronesian family. Some linguists think it is more plausible that Japanese might have instead been influenced by Austronesian languages, perhaps by an Austronesian substratum. Those who propose this scenario suggest that the Austronesian family once covered the islands to the north as well as to the south. Alexander Vovin calls his reconstruction of Proto-Japanese suggestive of a Southeast Asian origin of the Japonic languages. Several Japanese linguists classify Japanese as para Austronesian. The linguist Ann Kumar believes that some Austronesians migrated to Japan, possibly an elite group from Java, and had a great cultural and linguistic impact on the creation of the Japanese people. Ongan It has recently been proposed that the Austronesian and the Ongan protolanguage are the descendants of an Austronesian Ongan protolanguage Blevins 2007. But this view is not supported by mainstream linguists and remains very controversial. Robert Blust 2014, criticizes Belvin's reconstruction. <laughs> <laughs> Writing systems Most Austronesian languages have Latin-based writing systems today. Some non-Latin-based writing systems are listed below. Brahmi script Kawi script Balinese alphabet, used to write Balinese and Sasak. Batak alphabet, used to write several Batak languages. Baybayan, used to write Tagalog and several Philippine languages. Bima alphabet, once used to write the Bima language. Buid alphabet, used to write Buid language. Hainanoo alphabet, used to write Hainanoo language. Javanese alphabet, used to write the Javanese language and several neighboring languages like Madaris. Karen C alphabet Kaganga, used to write the Karen C language. Kulatan alphabet, used to write the Kapampangan language. Lampung alphabet, used to write Lampung and Komering. Lantara alphabet, used to write the Baganese, Makassarese and several languages of Sulawesi. Sundanese alphabet, used to write the Sundanese language. Rajang alphabet, used to write the Rajang language. Rangkong alphabet, once used to write the Malay language. Tagbanwa alphabet, once used to write various Palawan languages. Loda alphabet, used to write the Endaleo language. Cham alphabet, used to write Cham language. Arabic script Pagan alphabet, used to write Javanese, Sundanese and Madaris as well as several smaller neighboring languages. Jawi alphabet, used to write Malay, Assanese, Banjar, Manangkabau, Tausug, Western Cham and others. Soreb alphabet, once used to write several dialects of Malagasy language. Hangul, once used to write the CIA CIA language but the project is no longer active. Dunging, used to write the Aban language but it was not widely used. Avoyuli, used to write the Raga language. Eskayan, used to write the Eskayan language, a secret language based on Boholano. Woli script, Caroline Island script used to write the Carolinian language Rongorongo, possibly used to write the Rapa Nui language. Braille, used in Filipino, Malaysian, Indonesian, Tolai, Motu, Maori, Samoan, Malagasy, and many other Austronesian languages. See also Ainu languages Austric languages Austronesia Austronesian Formal Linguistics Association Austronesian peoples Austro-Thai Hmong Mean Indonesian language and Malaysian language Japanese language List of Austronesian languages List of Austronesian regions Margaret Flory Thai Kadai Notes References Topic. Further reading Topic. External links 